Now let us see the next divisibility rule that is fourth one. Divisibility by three. Now the divisibility rule for three is based on the sum of the digits of the given number. Now for example, if the given number is three hundred and seventy-five. So if you take the sum of the digits three plus seven plus five equals to three plus seven, ten plus five, fifteen is divisible by three. So the given number is also divisible by three. So let us check whether three seventy five is divisible by three or not. So three one is three, seven three two is six, one then five, three five is fifteen. So if the sum of the digits of the given number is divisible by three, then the given number is divisible by three. If the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 3 then it is divisible by 3 now we can check the divisibility rule for 9 so divisibility by 9 so if the sum of the digits of the given number is divisible by 9 then the given number is also divisible by 9 let us check with an example now for example if you take the number 3753 so then the sum of the digits 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3 Equals to three plus seven, ten. Ten plus five, fifteen plus three, eighteen. He is divisible by nine. So then three thousand seven hundred and fifty-three is also divisible by nine. Now let us check whether three thousand seven fifty-three is divisible by nine or not. So nine four is a thirty-six. The remainder is one fifteen. Nine one is a nine. Fifteen minus six. Carry three here. So nine seven zero sixty three. The remainder is zero. So we can write that if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by nine. Then it is divisible by nine. So the next one is divisibility by six, and these two divisibility rules, divisibility by three and divisibility by nine. So these two divisibility rules are based on the sum of the digits of the given number. Now let us take the divisibility by six. Now the first multiple of two and three is six. So when a number is divisible by both two and three, then the number is also divisible by six. So let us check with an example. If you take Thirty-six, so it is divisible by two because the ones place is six, and it is also divisible by three because the sum of the digits three plus six is nine, so it is divisible by three. So the given number is divisible by both two and three, so then it is also divisible by their product six. So we can write that if a number is divisible. By both two and three, then it is divisible by six. Now let us take the next divisibility rule, that is divisibility by four. Now 
Now, this divisibility rule is based on the number obtained by the last two digits of the given number. So, if you take 728, the number formed by the last two digits, so that is 28. So, if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4, then the given number is also divisible by 4. So, the number formed by last two digits 28 is divisible by 4. So, then even the 728 also divisible by 4. Now, let us check whether it is divisible by 4 or not. So, 728, 4 ones are 4. 3 32 7 4 8 are 32 0 then carry 8 4 2 are 8 so it is divisible by 4 so we can write that if the number formed by last two digits of a number is divisible by 4 then the number is divisible by 4 now the next rule is divisibility by 8 Now let us take an example, for example 36,728, so we have to check whether the number is divisible by 8 or not. So for this we have to take the number formed by the last 3 digits 728. If the number formed by last 3 digits is divisible by 8, then the given number is also divisible by 8. So let us take 728 is divisible by 8 or not. 8, 9 are 72, then 8, 1 are 8, remainder is 0. So then the given number 36,728 is also divisible by 8. So 36,728. Now 8, 4 are 32, the remainder is 4, 7. So 8, 5 are 40, and 7. 2, 8, 9 is 72, then 8, 1 is 8. So the given number is also divisible by 8. Now we can write the statement as if the number formed by last 3 digits of a number is divisible by 8 then the number is divisible by 8 Now next one divisibility by 11. Now if you take the number 34,729 and you can take one more digit 5. So 347,295. Now if you take the sum of the digits at odd places from the right. So 5. 2, 4. So this is the sum of the digits at odd places. So 4 plus 2 plus 5 equals to 11. And the sum of the digits at even places. So 9, 7, 3 means 3 plus 7 plus 9. So this equals to 3 plus 7, 10 plus 9, 19. And the difference. So 19 minus 11 equals to 8. If the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places and the sum of the digits at even places 
is either 0 or divisible by 11 then the given number is divisible by 11 so here the difference is 8 which is neither 0 nor divisible by 11 so the given number is also not divisible by 11 so we can write the statement if the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places from right and the sum of the digits at even places from right is if the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places and the sum of the digits at even places is either 0 or divisible by 11 then the number is divisible by 11 if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus